the 76ers are in town on the heels of a big victory last evening against the Atlantic Division leading New Jersey Nets. Can the Wizards get consistent scoring for four periods or will the Sixers defense reign supreme? Wizards and Sixers on Comcast Sportsnet next. Last night by 16 points over New Jersey. That's right, they beat the Nets at home in Philadelphia. Allen really didn't have his super night, only four for 16 from the field, but he did a lot of other good things. He had 11 assists, a game high 11 assists, I should add, and also did uh, finally hit some shots in the second half. He finished with 17 points. They've only won once when he scored under 20, of course, the last time he played here. And, uh, the way these two guards, Allen Iverson leads the league in steals nearly three per game. And as a team, they're eighth in steals, but uh, they really forced turnovers. They did the last time these teams met. 20 turnovers led to 33 points for Philadelphia. Following three losses on the road, Brendan Haywood inside had it stripped away. The Wizards turned it over on their first possession. Eric Snow, and he gets fouled by Brevin Knight. Jeffries drives, loses the ball, and turns it over. That's the third turnover, and here comes Iverson the other way for an easy two. Talked about the fact that they have really hurt themselves in their own worst enemy early in games, not getting going. Iverson with an incredible crossover and a three-pointer for AI. Knight kicks it out to Hughes. Waits for Iverson, shoots, and scores. Some numbers here. Hughes goes inside, left-handed, got hit, no call, and scores. Hughes pices him up. Block, and here comes Hughes the other way. Larry's ahead of the pack. He'll have an easy two. Play. Jeffries with a near steal. Kwame has two points and six rebounds, but you got to stop this guy. He's hot. Gonna say, you know, Wizards offense on that play. Here comes Iverson the other way. Drives on Knight, gets fouled, and let's see if they give him two. I'm sure they will for Philadelphia. Hughes with a great anticipation to see. Here comes Iverson, and he turns on the afterburners when he sees AI in his pass. And the rebound to Larry Hughes. Wizards can grab the lead here. Oh, Hughes, oh, great move. The first oh, layup is in, and he's fouled. What a play by Hughes. <laughs> well, you're talking about faking someone out of their shoes. Stop, kind of hesitation move, then a quick crossover. Change the pace on him. Just blows by Salmons. Salmons. <laughs> <laughs> You, you folks at home don't know, don't realize that I order salmon about three times a week, so. Hughes the other way, they run two on two. Behind his back, great move. Score the field goal and he's fouled. Boy, Brevin Knight has been a catalyst here in the first half, and Larry Hughes has been sensational. Well, Larry got off to a somewhat slow start, but he has really picked it up over the last five or six minutes, converting on baskets. This is a physical team. They're going to put their hands on you defensively. Nice shot from Larry Hughes. Hughes goes all the way, throws it up and in. Beautiful play. Boy, a tough shot. You saw him move the ball around several times. Eric Snow knocked away. Here's Hughes with Iverson on him. Great move. Nice finish. Swings it for Kyle Corbin. This is like a free throw for him. His 36th three-pointer on the season. Left hamstring pull. The Wizards commit another turnover. Once again, those big men go in the post up. They forget about the guards dropping back, trying to strip the ball. When you turn your back to them, they're coming. Eddie Jordan wants time. Iverson with seven points. He's three of ten from the field, but Philly has regained the lead by four. That's 22. Corber again. Unbelievable. You have got to guard him. Second at Orlando. Iverson baseline jumper good. Nine points for Iverson, who averages 27.5 a game. Here. Wow. Hughes, baseline, jumper, good. With this team, is they lack that confidence. To get a win against a team like this, playing well. He is so tough. Here, our Comcast Sportsnet crew, as the Wizards come home. Hughes, jumper, good. 30 points for Larry Hughes, who's season high. Knight going all the way, lays it up block. And Jeffrey saves it nicely. Hughes from long range, got it! Three-pointer! Hughes 
Jumper, got it. Hughes has 11 of those 23 points. Iverson off the glass, that is patented. Boy, he's just so good. I'll give him a little of that. <laughs> Iverson drives and scores. Back to our stage. We missed that one. Hughes takes a quick shot and hits it. <laughs> I know you were holding on. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. yes. The shoot into Thomas. Aton, no call. His shot was blocked. Iverson will give it up to Robinson for three. Knight, he lost it to Iverson. Corver off the screen for three. Addy, I like that. Well, not only was that deadly, that was a quick. Only took a few seconds off the game clock. That kid is tough. 13 points for Kyle Corver, the rookie from Creighton. He's three of six from long range. Shot clock at 10. Hughes, no call, takes a jumper and drills it. 43 for Larry Hughes, one away from tying his career high. The top teams in their division and might add their first win of a team in their division. And uh, got to feel good for that guy there, Eddie Jordan, and of course the rest of his teammates. Larry Hughes, what a fabulous offensive night he had. 43 points for Hughes, one shy of a career high.